Gold Coast detective Damien Leading has died in a Gold Coast hospital. His family made the heartbreaking decision to turn off his life support just before one o'clock this afternoon. The Queensland policeman was shot on Sunday night during one of the 142 armed robberies in the state southeast this year. Detective Senior Constable Damien Leading didn't regain consciousness after being shot in the head on Sunday night. Doctors put the 35-year-old married father of two in an induced coma in intensive care. And just before one o'clock this afternoon, the detective's life support was switched off. His family was by his side. I just wanted to see his dad. Uh, we explained last night that he would be coming home. <laughs> Detective Leading's father-in-law says the support the family's received has been overwhelming. Most people see the police as the guys who uh, pull you over on the side of the road and um, there's lots of expletives happening, but um, I think their motto to protect and serve, um, Damien, my son-in-law, he, uh, he's given the ultimate um, sacrifice as far as that goes. The detective's death has shaken the police community including senior police in charge of the officer. But I'd also like to give some special thanks to my staff. It's a very sad day for everybody in the Queensland Police Service, but I think for everyone in Queensland. Charges against two men and a woman police say were involved in the shooting have now been upgraded to murder. They'll face Southport Magistrates Court tomorrow. A couple of weeks ago, we were sitting in front of the television at their place having a beer and the news was on about all the armed hold-ups and he made the statement, he said, yes, he says we're going to get the bastards. It hasn't worked out. The Queensland Police Union has launched an appeal for Constable Leading's wife and two small children. He's the fourth officer killed in the line of duty in four years. His family will donate his organs for transplant, saying he would have wanted to give the gift of life. Lynn Keep, ABC News.